Hi guys. Hello. Welcome to day 21. 21. How crazy. 21 days. Done and dusted. Crazy. If, if you guys are still here and you have made this a habit, 21 days, that's pretty much sticking now. You're not going anywhere. You're here to the end. You're going to see this course through. We love that. We love we, we are not fussed one little bit that we started off with a lot of people and now we have just a, a, um, a nice little group because that always happens and you end up with the people that are really wanting to push themselves and push their business um, in 2021. So we're, we're just showing us with whom we want to work, work with. towards afterwards Absolutely. after the course as well. Absolutely okay today's a big one we're talking about social media now this is something that's been um this is this is something that me and martina have spoken a lot about over the years martina haven't we as we've learned and grown we've always shared with you guys as we've learned what works and what doesn't and there's always something to say because it's an ever evolving they're ever evolving platforms at uh, one point VIP groups were all the rage then it was business pages and we were like which one do we do and now we're sort of back to like a little bit of both and so you, you just you have to roll with it and you have to learn and it's you're always updating with new new ways of, of connecting with your customers through social media and it's not always everyone's doing it different as well like yeah. you can you can find your own way and it doesn't have to be anything what we are doing yeah um in fact, but we're I'd just going to give you we're just going to give you some tips yeah. about what we are doing, what's working for us. There are some general things you should follow, no matter uh, what you're doing on social media, like which platform you're using, but there is some stuff which you should be following anywhere uh, or everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, and look, yeah. social media might not look. It drives me bonkers sometimes. I know Martina's the same. Like it's sometimes it's like ugh, but it's a huge platform. And think about it this. Think about it this way: the millions of people that you have access to on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, whatever it is that you use, whatever your whatever your thing is, and you will find a platform that you love more than another, and you'll gravitate towards one more than another, and that's okay too. Um, but there's millions of people that you you've got at your fingertips all over the world. So can you imagine how much harder, especially? in a COVID world that we're living in right now, like how much harder it would have been to be a Sensi consultant, a global Sensi consultant at that, before we had these platforms. So yet yeah, they might get on our nerves a little bit from time to time, but they are an amazing free tool and it's all free for you to use um, at, and at your disposal. So, disposal. so if you can find a way of marketing yourself and presenting yourself as you, as an authentic you, in the best way possible, you, you can really grow your um, grow your business through it. And that's one of the one of the rules, pretty much. What just Carly said: be authentic. Be authentic on social media, no matter which platform you're using. If it's Instagram, if it's Twitter, if it's Facebook, if it's all of them, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you need to be authentic. If you start copying someone, uh, it will not lead anywhere. Yeah. because people will find out that it's not you, that it's someone else. Uh, so being authentic is very, very important, but in the same time, being positive and only positive. If there is anything negative, you need to vent, do it somewhere else than on social media. Never, ever do it on social media. Uh, this is not something what people who want to support you and who want to join you and follow your steps this is not something what they want to see yeah so it needs always it needs to be positive yeah and that's not saying that you can't say i'm having a really bad day that's not saying that in fact i think that makes as a especially as a mum, if you've like if you're and you're like in lockdown and you're tearing your hair out you will be relatable to so many other women out there like you can do that but it's the positive spin on it and what people need to see is that you've had that really crap day but the next day you're going out and you're making things better and the next day you're doing this you know what I mean so like give give them a glimpse into the real you and let them know you're vulnerable and real because nobody's like picture perfect um but 
but also make sure that you're not being a Debbie Downer like all the time people people will soon switch off from you um and it's and people want to follow your journey you know the ebbs and flows of it don't try to do any like political comments oh. and like any difficult topics yeah because there will always be if, if you start uh doing comments on stuff like that there will always be a part of the world which will suddenly stop following you Absolutely. pretty much there's been uh, so many there's been so many times when i've wanted to say something about donald trump you've got no idea but like it's but i don't because i know that i this is this is my the face of my business and i i, I get a, i generate a lot of my income from online sales so for me like I don't want to, I, I will speak to my husband about my hatred for the man, you know, and I will vent to my friends. I, it doesn't need to go on social media, you know, that doesn't need to go on there. So from pretty much from now on, what we want to say is use it as a business platform. Don't use it as a personal platform. You obviously will be posting personal stuff as well and your personal journey but because you want to share your journey to people whom you want to inspire so that they will follow you and join you and you can uh, inspire them to change their lives in the same way as it changed to you yourself. Uh, so use it as a business platform, not as a personal platform in all this meaning if you want to do something personal just talk to your husband talk to your neighbor talk to your friend in person or message someone message yeah. me message Kali, message whomever uh just don't show it to everyone yeah and yeah and and, and in the same respects we it's, it is your business platform but we also don't want you to be sammy with sensi as well if you look at my page if you like so we're talking personal pages now if you look at my page and you look at Martina's page, you can scroll through a long way before you'll find a Scentsy post. There'll be lots of um, posts about me enjoying time with my daughter. There'll be lots of um, posts about the things that I get to do because I'm a stay at home mum. I work from, I'm a work from home mum. Lots of like opportunity style posts like that, but you won't get buy this, buy that. That gets saved for my VIP group. I might every now and again on a limited edition or if there's a new catalogue coming out, I might say I've got some, would you like to try it? But very, very rarely because I don't want to be Spamela Anderson and be posting stuff everywhere on my personal page. I keep that for my business page and for my VIP group. And that's me personally. When right. you first, yeah, when you, when you first start, you obviously should let people know that you started with this business, this is what you're doing, and you create your business page or VIP customers group, or just, or both of them. Uh, we will be talking about it a little bit later. Uh, and you let them know. If you want to know more, and if you wanna uh, stay up to date with all the products, with everything what's, what's going on in the Sensi world, please like my business page, join my customers group. This is the place where I will be revealing everything what's happening in the Sensi world, not on my personal page, because my personal page is my personal page. Uh, but you will be using it as your business page as well, but not for the product. Yeah. You will be showing people what the business opportunity is giving you, how it's changing your life, what it is offering to you, because you want to know you want to let people know how it's changed your life what is offering you and it's about the products as well but in the meaning of like not 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 just posting the link to your to your page and showing them picture of washer waves but if you're excited about new fragrance for example now the new washer wave fragrance which i'm absolutely excited about <laughs> uh it's uh so i am going to share that with my friends as well but yeah. not because not because I want to sell it to everyone, but because I'm really excited about it. It's, it's, it's not that everyone has to have it. It's just something, when I'm going to a new cafe where they, they're just doing the best coffee I've ever had, I'm going to share it with my friends as well. And I'm going to post it there as well. Story so that's a little bit different. Um, stories are a great place 
for you to snip in those products as well. So stories are to the public, so anyone can see your stories. And that, like, we, I'm not saying just bombard them with sensey stuff, but I would re- that that's a great place for you to share because it's a quick flash of the products. They're learning a little bit about it, and you're also combining it. Is that the stories are a story? It's a story of what you're doing throughout the day. So if you're doing the laundry and you're using those new washer whisks best place to share them you know so and and anyone on your on your list can see it you know and they can they can they can tap it tap through it if they don't want to watch it it's like quick and instant you know so stories are a great um tool for you to use to share um share that those sensi products for those people that aren't on your vip page and aren't looking at your, and your business page as well one of the other things we that we are very mindful of doing is interacting with people on social media and listen, look, you can spend, try not to spend like your lifetime on doing this. It's like a quick thing during the day. Like if you haven't, if you haven't checked your feed and you haven't looked and, and interacted with people, um, just 10, 15 minutes here and there, you know, like I'm a big believer that sometimes you need to turn your phone off and, and not be, not be scrolling on your, on your Facebook feed, but it's really good to interact, especially with your customers. So if you've got customers that are on your friends list, a lot of my customers have become friends over the years. Like I will make sure I interact with them about their stuff as well. It's not all about me. It's um, I, I want to find out what's going on in their lives. And if they're showing interest, if they've got something that's going on, they're saving up for a wedding or um, they're wanting to move house or the, the, to me i'm looking for cues like how can i help them um how can i how can the opportunity help them how can the products help them all that sort of stuff so um it's also important to interact with others rather than just interacting and posting on your own page yeah social media is called social media for a reason so you need to be social if you want social media to work for you you need to be social on social media so you need to interact with people and uh it's better to spend the time to interact with your customers and potential leads uh, rather than uh, just scrolling down the feed and looking for gossips uh, from the feed of your friends. So try to use uh, social media uh, the way so that it can bring you something for your business every time as well also as well by you interacting with people you're going to then appear you're going to then appear on their feed more it's how the algorithm works so when you when you've got someone that comments on your post make sure you comment back when you're when you're commenting on someone else's post they comment answer them back they all all it does is it just it's going to bring you up on the feed so what that it's going to send cues to that person so when they're ready for a top up when they're ready to join you're going to be the person that that jumps into into their brain it's the same when you do your follow-up it's the same when you send out your sample packs all those things all we're trying to do is we're not trying to get people to buy everything right now we're just trying to be present in people's lives so when the time does come that's right for them to buy the product join join the team host the party we're the people that they come to and that's exactly what it is. You just want to be the one person they think of when the time comes right for them. Yeah. The And social media is so helpful with this. So you don't need to call them and message them every now and then and asking them, hey, are you ready for top up? Yeah. But you can just show up in their feed. And how to do it is to interact. You don't need to comment every time they post something. You can like a post time to time. You can... Whenever, if you do interactive posts in the customers group where they all are, if it's just a stupid game where everyone needs to comment on something, uh, it doesn't have to be even sensory related, to be honest. Uh, The more people will comment, the more people will actually see the post and you just come up to their mind and they they might be thinking, ah, I'm actually running out of wax. I should message that person. so th- this is this is what it is about with social media and customers. Yeah. One of the big things that me and Martina learned when we went to see Eric Moore a few years ago, we were really fortunate enough to go and see him at um, a big conference over East, 
um, was one of the things he said was your job is not to sell the products your job is not to get the people to join your job is to keep the conversation going and I think as soon as you shift your mindset to all I need to do is keep the conversation going it takes total pressure off you there's no it's all on them when they're ready when they're ready to um, join buy or host you know so your only job as a sensory consultant is to keep the conversation going social media is awesome for that because as you like and you love and you comment you're keeping the conversation going you're ha having those interactions with someone it would it takes more interactions online than what it would do if you were meeting up for with them for a cup of coffee but it's a lot easier to try and get to, to get someone to interact with you on social media than it is to get the people to come and meet you for a cup of coffee when you don't know them very well, you know? So it just opens that doorway to, for you to build the relationship so that when you do ask them to go for a coffee when the new catalogue's released next year, you've got that relationship with them that they're going to go, you're not a weirdo, I'm going to meet you. And you know what I mean? It's And in, in saying that, just if you have like five minutes in a, in a day, just five minutes free, you're waiting for your kids in front of the school or whatever. Uh, just scroll through your social media, and, but, but not, not because you're looking for gossips again, but just w what you should be doing, for example, you can just give 10 likes, but to those people, uh, to those customers, yeah. so that they can actually see and they will see it. And you will come up to their mind, ah, that's the consultant. Ah, I actually need stop up. Yeah. You know, so think outside of bo outside of the box. It can take just five minutes to give those 10 likes. Um, and it can actually help you get some orders, let's say, as well. And, and also as well, like things that resonate with you, you know, if you find someone really funny or you find someone really interested and you're interacting with them, like you, you, you attract the people that you should, you know, like you, who you vibe with are going to be the people that are going to buy from you because people will buy from, buy from you when they know you, they like you, they trust you. So if you, if you, if you are honest and authentic with your likes and your loves and your comments and not just thinking, I'm going to get a sale, I'm going to get a sale. If it's something you really do love then you're you're going to be attracted to each other in that way anyway you know so vip groups and business pages yeah so th this was just your personal profile and we also recommend to have well i am doing both and i've actually always been doing both Mm -hmm. uh, I never stopped. I know Carly is still doing the IP group and you came back to it. Yeah. Uh, you can do it however you want. Yeah. Um, the, the difference between them is your uh, business page you can create for free on Facebook is, uh, first of all, it's Google searchable. So whenever... Uh, when someone would be looking for a sensei consultant in Queenstown in New Zealand, they will find me because I've got it in my name uh, of my business page in the link and it would come to my business page on Facebook. Uh, your VIP customers group should be a closed group where you are interacting with people who are your customers already. Your business page is created so that you give information to people who've never heard of Sensi before, pretty much. Yeah. I would say that's pretty much the main difference between them. Yeah. So in your customers group, you're, you're communicating with your already customers. So whenever someone buys of you, you add them to your customer. Well, you always need to ask them first if, you, if they want to be added. You don't just add people because if, for, if someone would add me to a group, I automatically uh, leave. Yep. No matter if I like the group or not, if right. they don't ask me and they just add me to something, I automatically leave and, and yeah, I just don't like it. And people all, like also might not like it. So always ask them mm -hmm. and tell them why they should be uh, willing to be in your customers group. Tell them that you will be playing games, you keep them up to date. There will be some specials, personal specials from there for them. And uh, and so on. Yeah. In and with the with your business page, you should be trying to uh, find new people who've never heard of heard of Sensi before. So there should be 
some polls might be the same, uh, but there should be different polls, even just uh, because what, what I just said, people in your customers group most likely will know what's Sensi Warmer about. Uh, people on your business page or people who, who find your business page might not know that. Yeah. So you should explain exactly what the Sensi Warmers are about, why they are better than candle burners and so on. Yeah. And for, for me, I, like Martina said, I shut my VIP page down because I'd built my business page up and was getting so much interaction on it. And then the algorithm changed and the business pages weren't getting shown so much. And I was like, ah, oh, who? And I'd had this VIP group. But to be honest, I, well, since resetting it up, I'm so much happier with the setup that I've got now because the VIP group that I had before had so many people in it. So many of them weren't my customers because I'd set it up when I didn't really know what I was doing. And I was adding people left, right and centre. The VIP group that I've got now is a lot smaller. It's only 240 people, but everyone in there is a customer and they bought from me. And I find I get so much more interaction because of that fact and so many more sales because of that fact as well. And in my VIP group, I can be totally myself. I jump on in my pajamas and and I'm a mess and, and they expect that, they know me. And I just share with them what I'm doing. So I share with them like my life, what I'm using. And um, if I'm packing up orders, they'll see my orders being packed up. It's really like, like most of Martina said, play games, all that sort of stuff. So um, I like the fact that I'm keeping it especially for my customers. When I did the mystery host that we uh, that we I spoke about in Sky's the Limit, that was all done in the VIP group. So it was for my customers only. It was like it was me treating them when I was doing those VIP packs. They all got those VIP packs. It's just a, it's a way it's a way of us spoiling the small like a small group of customers that are loyal to you and keep reordering. And with these, be careful because some people might be in your customers group, but because they started. They might first, they might have find you on your business page and then they became your customer. So they will be in your customers group as well. If you will be telling them that this is just for them, just for your VIPs, but you will be posting it in, in, on your business page as well. Yeah. Then they will be like, uh, really? Yeah. So try to really make it special for your VIPs. Make them feel that they are really VIPs and you are treating them like that. Um, and then, yeah. Yeah. And that's where I, if when I do my, when I get my whiff box through, that's when I'll do the re reveal, first of all. It goes there before it goes onto YouTube or anything like that. So they get to see what's in that whiff box. Any specials that I'm doing, obviously you have to be careful how you promote that. So do it compliantly. Um, but they know first before anyone else, before it goes in a newsletter, before it gets posted on the business page, they have first dibs on everything. So like Martina said, it's just making them feel that little bit special. And even if you're just starting, you know, and you've got like two, three customers, you can create it and just interact with those people. Lucky if customers, it will be, If you, you get to know those people, uh, you'll have some fun in there. And the more fun it will be, more, the more likely they will add some of their friends as well. Uh, because they, they will want them not to miss out on whatever is happening in that group yeah absolutely and, and you can ask them for that as well you can give them some referral program for anyone they add in obviously it needs to be someone again they need to ask their friends they can't just add someone like that and it needs to be someone who wants to find out more about about sensei or they've got friends who are using sensei already and might not have a consultant or whatever um so they might add some people in, in that group for you as well if you offer them something for that, let's say. Uh, it doesn't have, doesn't have to be a group of 200 people. Uh, it can be a group of 10 people. Yeah. That's how we yeah. started as well. Absolutely. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend both of them. I've got so many customers off my business page over the years. Like still now I get phone calls, people, oh, I found you, I found you on Facebook. And they find me on Facebook because they Google me, you know, they'll Google Sensi, they'll Google where, where they are, like where they are. 
and I pop up and sometimes they'll know what sense he is like Martina said like sometimes they don't you know so um yeah I just uh, it's really worthwhile I think having both it's totally your decision but me personally I yeah I would have both and look they don't that your business page does not have to be posted on three million times a day you know like it's it's there as long as you keep it active um, along the way and you're you're putting relevant stuff up it doesn't have to be posted all the time your vip group interact with them interact with them more you know but yeah your, your business pages is, is as long as it's there and it's and it's being posted on um it will get seen yeah that's it so assignment wise if you haven't got a page and you haven't got a vip group now's the time like one more thing um i just wanted to add with so we were just talking about facebook uh with instagram you can have both as well mm -hmm. you can have a business page and you can have a you can't have a closed group but you can have a, a personal profile and you can have a business page on instagram as well so if you are more into instagram uh you can do those things uh on instagram as well Absolutely. And the same thing applies. Don't be spammy, spammy, share personal pictures. Don't use marketing flyers all the time. It's yeah, it's, it's making it, stepping outside and making it a little bit different, you know, to what every other, what every other person is doing. Okay. Have a great day. All right. Bye. Bye.